wonder how long, how much staying power does he have, man, in boxing, man? He's just dishing out money left and right, and well, it's no. not, and, and no well, money is coming back. Joe, Joe, Joe. I mean, I've seen this shit happen before, man. You know, uh, you know, there's not a, right now, it's like a, uh, uh, he has a checking account, an unlimited checking account, but them days don't last long in boxing unless you start bringing some revenue in. You know what I mean? Yep. And guys, the biggest red flag that he's concerned with money coming back. And once again, right now, he's subscribing to the ideology of Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner. If we build it, they will come. Well, that's not the case. At yeah. least not in boxing. Okay. Not You've got to cultivate that attraction. And so far, Crawford versus Madrimov in LA in a 22,000 seat venue has not even sold 11,000 tickets. I'm surprised they did that many. I thought they would probably do five. <laughs> yeah. Well, so they I'm did 11. Nice, brother. No, well, they haven't done 11, and it's more like nine. <sighs> Well, it's still, when's the fight anyway, Joe? August 3rd, couple weeks. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, man, it's not an L.A. matchup, man. L.A., man, it's got to be regional, man. You know, you, you put the fights, you put the fights that make sense. And that fight, you know, I mean, Crawford, you know, I mean, and that yeah, Madrigal, nobody knows who the fuck he is. So it, it's not right. a matchup that, you know, it that makes sense in L.A., you know, yep. maybe in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, but not in <laughs> fucking L.A. No, that's absolutely right. And once again, guys, I found out the hard way by working with um, a promoter in California, just soliciting some sponsorship for him. And I found out the hard way that that is become UFC country. Like, it's yeah. crazy. Even bars, even breweries. Or like, well, that's not a good fit. We don't even show boxing at our events, at our uh, establishments. Unless you're and, Nick Diaz and Major and and then Madrigal, they'll show. Now, once, yeah, once again, that's a U. Those are two big UFC names. Yep. And that that had a big hit in Anaheim, California, last weekend, selling 18. over eighteen thousand tickets. This is the best fighter in boxing. But does anyone care? Once again, <laughs> that's a big. big and this tells me everything, Coach. If Turkey Al Sheik didn't care about anything coming back, why is this on pay per view? Now, who determines what goes on pay per view and what doesn't? That's the network. So that tells me that Turkey Al Sheik is that's a very high price tag on the licensing fee. It's put he's going to lose money, Joe. Yep. It's put it on. It's put him in a position to put it on pay per view out of necessity. Now, if he didn't care, he would put this on the zone without pay per view, so everyone would see it. He'd put this on ESPN, so everyone would see it. But because this it's behind a, but, but because it's behind a revenue stream, it's going to limit the number of eyeballs ultimately. Joe, and bottom is line is, let me cut it short, Joe. He's going to lose money on this show, okay? Because uh, uh, I bet you if ticket sales are going slow, I guarantee you a pay-per-view is going to be a flop, okay? I, I, I'm so, I'll be surprised if it does over 100000 okay? Well, look, look, look. Jesus Sem says this. Coach and Joe, wouldn't Crawford fans travel to L.A. on masses? Obviously not. 